Hey guys, Desert Alchemist here in the Bay Area, and we're checking out a really cool mushroom that uh, Michael James showed me. Michael James from the Hate Street Shroom Shop. You guys come closer here. I'm gonna pull it out. Um, but if you see this mushroom here, it is an active species um, of Psilocybe. So I'm gonna pull it out, pull one out at least show you some of the features and I'll let James teach us a little bit about the species. Um, shoot. All right, let's get this guy out. Let's see. All right, this is a beautiful mushroom. Went ahead and go ahead and tell us about this. Uh, sure, so that's a Psilocybe alanine, right? So here in uh, Northern California, we have three different varietals of Psilocybe that grow here, and they're a little bit different than your classic Psilocybe cubensis. These are Psilocybe cyanescens, Psilocybe azurescens, and Psilocybe alanine. And this is the alanine. This is the one that likes to grow kind of like on a lot of them. Um, but the thing that you can notice differently about wood lovers is they don't um, contain a bale. And so there's a lot of what we like to call LBMs, little brown mushrooms, that exist out here, including the deadly gallerina, um, that you need to really positively identify. Now, with this one, you can kind of see on the top there, we got some blacking, but you know, these particular philosophies are known as the most potent philosophies. Um, that's being changed with a lot of discussion going on, testing and potency and things like that, just by uh, different cultivation methodologies that are kind of existing out in the community. But this guy right here is one of the one of the three that I find all the time here in Golden Gate Park. Um, and we're in a little uh, a little patch, I don't know, about two and a half blocks from the shop. And uh, you can notice here the <clears throat> the dark spores. It's got like that sort yeah. of purplish brown, dark they're, brown they're spores. Super black. They're very black and dark. Right. So if you're not sure, make sure you spore print it uh, when you bring it home and, uh, and you get those very dark black blue spores. That's always a positive identifier. Nice. Uh, if you don't know, don't eat it. Right. Mm -hmm. More than likely, that patch is going to keep growing just like this one. So, you know, uh, go home, spore print it, check it out. And then if it, you get a positive identification, then come on back and, you know, be safe. Low and slow is the way to go. And uh, like our species in Arizona are very small. They're like super skinny, super small. But I like the, how these guys are a lot bigger. Oh, that's definitely a big one. If you go up into colder climates, because these particular philosophies require a cold snap in order to start fruiting off of the wood. As you can see, just looking at the where the mycelium yeah. is connected, it's connected directly to these little wood chips here in this pile under this. I think it might be a, this might be a fuchsia tree. And uh, I noticed that some of these... Uh, wood lovers will have like blue staining on the stem, like on the base. But this one doesn't seem. Oh to yeah, have much. about three to four minutes, that one will start bluing. The on the edge of the veil too, you'll start to see some bluing or some blacking, and that'll be another positive identifier. Again, you know, a lot of mushrooms kind of change color. Uh, that are little brown mushrooms that look like these. So really, be careful when you're out there hunting, Michael Fan. That's all I can say. This is beautiful. Thank you for your time and. Um, showing us these mushrooms. This is really cool. Absolutely. Man. Um, active. I hope you guys like this video. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Maybe we'll get to see some in the future during the day. <laughs>